Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of WoW Leveling with yours truly. <laughs> uh, so last time we came up to this mill, helped clear out a bunch of the zombies, but there's still more to be done. We have to get a bunch of the family's remains, as well as kill some skeleton soldier dudes and get their ribs and skulls. So that ought to be fun. We're also really close to level 10, so we're definitely going to be getting there this episode. Pretty excited for that. Um... So we actually have one sword available to us, it's a, which we'll be using, uh, and we'll probably just pick something next time, uh, or pick something up rather, next time we go back to town. Let's see. Just checking our gear to see if anything's an upgrade that we can use, and it looks like we're good. So let's roll out. We do need to vendor off this stuff because we're getting our inventory is getting pretty full. All right, so they're just up here. We can ignore these uh, wraiths and whatnot somewhat safely. Thanks to our stealth. Let's see, I think they're, yep. The uh, Cracked Skull Soldier there. This guy and the, um, I think they have like Magus or something, mages. Where's one? None nearby, but we'll find them, I'm sure. Oh, the bone casters, yeah, they're just like little skeletons rather than these big skeletons covered in armor. There's a rare over there. Uh, there's a ton of enemies nearby, so I'm going to try to sneak around. See if I can make something happen. Lost soul. So I'm going to uh, drop my stealth and sort of pull, get aggro on her and pull her over here so I don't get attacked by something else. Look at those little eyes down there. That's kind of creepy. Never seen that before. Oh, well, she went down really easy. And, uh... It didn't really give us anything except for another blue pouch, it looks like. Alright, let's see if we can just grab one of these guys. Come on. Aggro on to me. Really? Come on. Look right here. There you go. Oh, they both aggroed. Ah, oh, whatever. Oh, look at that damage. Nice. Okay, I uh, got all the ribs and skulls and stuff, so now all I have to do is kill each different family member and gather their remains. And I think, since these are more important people, I won't fast forward through them all. Speed up the travel time, but the fights themselves, I'll also let them play out. Devlin Dagamond. Oh, hold on, let's... Okay, he's gonna cast this anyway. I was trying to kite him away just because I saw that there was an enemy coming around here, but they did not get in range to uh, aggro on to us, which is pretty nice. I'll check out these like really super like fat white boots compared to the rest of our outfit. Looks pretty goofy. Nisagamon. I know this is your house, but I'm gonna have to kill you. It's for your own good. Alright. Now the next two. Oh, look at that. Another rare mob. The Tormented Spirit. This one's actually higher level. And we're definitely going to get level 10 off of this. I'm just going to wait for her to come down here. Alright, let's kill her. Sweet. There's our level 10. Got a new ability, but we don't really care about it because we're going to switch, be switching to Outlaw. And I'll sort of go over our abilities uh, once we change. Alright. Let me just equip the sword in our main hand real quick. It's not quite ideal because, well, I guess the dagger does do more damage, does it? 
actually matter. Let's see, 50 damage. 38. Okay, so yeah, we definitely want to keep the sword on just because it's less DPS, but it's a higher like base damage, I guess. So that this will do more damage. But yeah, we got Saber Slash to um, give us combo points. Uh, and Run Through is our only um, spender, I believe, at the moment. Yeah. We only have four abilities, but we'll get more very quickly coming up here. So give me just a second to uh, set up my hop bars. Okay, let's continue on. Now, unfortunately, our main combo point builder only does or only gives us a. Uh, one combo point. However, it does have a chance to deal extra damage, and uh, later on I can proc some extra useful things for us. And it does do a, a healthy chunk of damage just by itself, so it kind of makes up for it. Okay, so oh, let's stealth before that guy uh, realizes we're there. Let's uh, go on back to the, the guy to turn this quest in. Alright, Mr. Coleman Farthing. I am I've done your bidding. Look at that like, fat knife we have. It's a sword, but... <laughs> I hope you're well, all things considered. Well, yes I am. Oh, okay, that, that dialogue, I remember that. Let's do the mills overrun first. Our battle with the Scourge wages... Our battle with the Scourge wage on. Do you... Or do you... Well, I cannot read tonight. Do your part and throw those cursed mindless undead back into the plague lands. Your efforts are appreciated. I will not thank you for doing what is necessary, but I will remember your name. Uh, thanks, I, I guess? Dark lady, you watch over you. Do you have the remains of the Agamons? Are those cursed beasts finally destroyed? Yes, they are. Revenge has a sweet taste, don't you think? When you destroyed the Agamons, did you catch any hint of free will within them? I hope so. I hope they know f knew fear before they were smashed into oblivion. Jeez. It is a foolish hope, I know, but it is a hope I foster nonetheless. Remember. I have destroyed the remains you've given me. That is, all remains except for these. Devlin Agamond was a weak and sharp-tongued in life, and was among the first to succumb to the plague. He existed as a slave of the Scourge for a long time, longer than most. As such, he may possess knowledge that would be, value, be of value to us. Bring his remains to Magistrate Severin and tell him what I've told you. He'll know what to do. Alright. And now we got to walk all the way back down there. I think I'm just going to cut to it. <laughs> Okay, finally we made it back to town. <laughs> uh, didn't miss much. I just, there's a weaponsmith back, th where did he go? There's this, this weaponsmith way back there. Um, I just picked up a couple swords off of him. Don't have any stats, but they are upgrades. And now we can finally uh, get this quest off of Executor Zygand. What would you ask? It was silver before, if you recall. All able-bodied members of the Horde are hereby ordered to report to Grand Executor Mortus at the Forsaken Command in Silver Pine Forest. Now, more than ever, your help is needed in routing the enemy infestation of the region and conquering the Port of Gilneas. To reach Forsaken High Command, you must travel south through Tearsfall Glades and enter Silver Pine Forest. From there, follow the road south until you reach Forsaken High Command. Onward, brother! Destiny calls! All right, I'll take the quest. Um, we're not going to do it yet. It's just sort of the um, the breadcrumb quest to get us started in the next uh, questing area, Silver Pine Falls down here. Uh, but we still have some some stuff to wrap up here in the Tears Fall Glades. Let's see, Is the guy we have to talk to in here. I believe so. Yeah, 
Yep, here he is, Mr. Severin. The Fedar of Scourge hangs about you. What is it you seek? Devon Agamond? Is that him you carry in your sack there? Ha! Huh. Yes, I know what Coleman wants to try, and I want to try it too. I hope you're prepared. Oh, I am more than prepared. While the frozen throne lies dormant, the grasp that the Lich King once held over the Scourge grows ever weaker. His grip on a weakling like Devlin Agamon should be weak enough that we can remove it entirely. Speak with Shadow Priestess Malia uh, in the manor on the east side of town. She will assist you in the procedure. Alright. I actually don't think I've done this quest before, so I have no idea what's going to happen. But they're, they're excited about it, so I guess I should be too. Where is she? Probably upstairs. Uh, nope. So she's in this manor here. Oh, it's just right here. I thought she'd have like a quest marker above her or something. Derp. Are you ready to begin the procedure? Dude, that's a dope staff. It's like flapping and shit. Yeah, I'm ready. Very well, follow me. Go ahead and walk up. <laughs> All cool alike. Now it is time for us to begin. Devlin Agamond, listen to my voice. Your mortal remains have been gathered here in this place where you spent your childhood. Resist the Lich King's will, Devlin. Come to us. Ooh, spooky. He's swimming. Well, what's going on here? Wait, am I home? You people, what are you doing here? Why are you in my house? Mother, father, Thurman, where are you? Come help me. No, I remember. My family is dead, and so am I. And my soul. My soul belongs to the scourge. Die, you wretches. What a shame. Now I just have to go and turn this back in. Can we talk to her? No. Okay. Let's head on back to the big old manor here. And, uh, see what we get for doing all that. Ah, how unfortunate. Perhaps the scourge dominion over Devlin's mind remained too strong. Or perhaps our methods are simply not strong enough. It is also possible that Devlin was too simple-minded to comprehend what we were asking him. Boots of Brill. Maybe they'll fit a little bit better than these fatty things. You've done much for us, done much for us here. But men of your caliber are needed elsewhere. To the east lies the bulwark. A fortified barricade against the ravages of the plague lands. The bulwark protects us from scourge invasions and has allowed us sanct enough sanctity to build up our forces here in Tears Fall Glades. Go, speak with High Executor Darrington. He is an ally and will doubtless appreciate whatever aid you can give him. I'm not sure um, what we can actually do over there because the plague lands is a pretty high level area compared to what we are so uh, let me make this in my home just so we can hearth back here quicker and also sell these old boots okay so we have to go hmm. okay so we have to stop here go all the way over to the bulwark which is yet another super long walk and then eventually we'll get down to silver pine forest i think but for now, let's go, uh, let's go talk to Death Guard Linnea. Why, hello there, Linnea. What now? Magistrate Severn wants a report. 
Very well. The defenders at the bulwark are holding the majority of the scourge at bay, but some do slip on or do slip through on occasion. We have seen sporadic scourge activity to the east of this station, with a concentration around the Balnir farmstead. Embrace the shadow. Any quests? Yes, one quest. What is it? It's so cold now. The plague of undeath crawls through my veins like an icy serpent. The mindless state will be upon me soon, but no doomed destiny will prevent me from serving our Dark Lady. When the call arose, I sewed my body bags for the fallen soldiers of Sylvanas' mighty army. Now my hands shake from the chill. If you would bring me five dust pelts, I, would, I could sew myself a blanket. Help me, so that I can continue to serve the cause. Alright. Is that the only quest we have? Yes, it is. Alright, let's slice and dice some bats. Can we just take a moment to appreciate how cool these animations are for Outlaw? Zoom in real quick. I love that. This is sort of like double swinging animation. Alright. Let's uh, return to the old lady and with these uh, pelts so that she may sew herself a new pair of gloves. Do you have five dusk bat pelts yet? Yes, I do. I appreciate your efforts. May Sylvanas recognize your bravery one day. Here's some dusk bat pants. So she made herself some gloves and some pants. Alright. I guess I'll take it. We have a uh, new shirt as well. It's junk quality, but it does give us one more armor, so we'll use it. Even though it's kind of ugly. And now all that remains is to go over to the bulwark. Oh no, never mind. Didn't realize Linnea here would have another quest for us. What is it? You should return to Magistrate Severn with the information I gave you. He wanted as soon as possible, so be swift. Goodbye. Okay, never mind. We just have to go back to him. But yeah, let's go over to the uh, to the bulwark and see what they want over there. And here is the bulwark. It appears they have a a dwarf here. What are you doing here, little dwarf man? You're beardless dwarf. Shame on you. Alright, let's turn this in. To Mr. Executor Darrington. Not much of a rogue, are ya? Well, you will be when I'm done with you. Hey. That's rude. Get your tongue checked. Weird how it just like, flops around. Though the strength of the Scarlet Crusade wanes, we are still at war. The report Executor Aaron sent me indicates that Scarlet Crusaders have been raiding from the ruined tower to the, in the southern, southeastern Tyrus Fall, uh, near the Balnir farmstead under the command of Captain Valcon. Kill three of his zealots and four of his friars. It should prove to be a devastating blow to the Crusade. Alright. What about you, Mr. Uh, Apothecary Dithers? Hello. Have you seen the plagued Bruins that wander to the west of here? Those hides, so hideous, so diseased, so perfect. Fetch me five of them. I've got an idea for an anti-scourge poison that's guaranteed to succeed. No Alright. Well, I think we're going to call that an episode for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching, as always. 
Uh, if you have any questions, comments, or feedback, please feel free to let me know down in the comments section below. But uh, with all that being said, take care. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.